we are shooping it up with our co-hosts today, the OG Girl Group, Salt and Pepper. Hey, girls. Okay. Okay, ladies, let's get into some girl chat. All right. We just had the pleasure of sitting down together for the interview special following the Lifetime movie that was number one Woo! in your time slot on that Saturday. The movie is such, Amazing. it got a great response. Lifetime is actually re-airing it this Sunday, February the 7th at 2 p.m. And if you didn't get a chance to see it yet, you have to tune in. Well, we actually have a clip, just roll it. Get in the booth, put these vocals down. Come on. Here we go. Yo, that's, that's your boyfriend. Sure Yo, Fresh, this? give me that. All right. He's not even out. Thank you. All right. Sandy, let's do this. Two, three. So, in Pell is here, and we're in effect. Want you to push it back. Good. Yeah. So good. It was Memories, so man. good. Ladies, what was it like seeing your story played out? And how has the response been since the movie has aired? <laughs> it's just a, an amazing feeling because it's been like 36 years. I'm like, dang, it's finally time that we've been talking about our stories. Now people can see it on the screen. I was like, so happy. It's a beautiful, yeah. and the positive feedback from everybody, really family. Is. Yes. What about you, Sal? I mean, I went through the process with a little fear and trepidation, uh, a little emotional. I mean, who wants to go back and look at, like, how you hurt someone or how someone hurt you? It's kind of hard going through that process, the editing and, you know, working with the, the, um, the actresses and everything. And I kind of, you know, because we know Lifetime has a little reputation concerning our biopics, I was a little, you know, scared about that as well. But I have to say that um, the movie for me, when I did step away from being salt and just watched it, you know, as Cheryl and watched, you know, the, the friendship and what we went through of being women in, in an industry that's dominated by men, having children, you know, having to be able to uh, find our voice and deal with our business. And to me, it was just a story about two friends that was together before we were business partners, before we were salt and pepper, and all the ups and downs of what that looks like. And I feel like any woman can relate to this movie from that angle of being of a friendship so and being great. women in the music industry. That. Yeah. Definitely. I love that. Definitely. Ladies, with all that being said, it's no secret that DJ Spinderella has been speaking out publicly against the movie, claiming she was, quote, wrongfully excluded from every aspect of development and production and that she played an integral part an integral role in the group's story and success so i'm wondering if you can give everyone an update as to just where you guys stand with her right now yeah i've reached out to spinderella um i feel like it's very unfortunate you know we've come to a crossroads where we have decided to agree to disagree um I definitely am open and Pep is open. We've talked about it. Our hearts are open, have always been open to Spinderella. As far as the public is concerned, I'm really um, happy about the people who know that they don't know everything. There's six sides to every story. And mm -hmm. we just hope that, you know, that we can come to some sort of resolution in the future. You never know, you know, God, you never know what God is doing. Um, uh, I just wanted to add to that, but I just want to clear up. I don't know. There is a part that when Spinderella do say that we excluded her, that part, Salt and I did reach out to consult with the movie because like Salt said, this movie was about a friendship of Salt, Sandy and Cheryl back in college. But yes, Spinderella joined us a part of it. She will always be, um, uh, we will always acknowledge her contribution what that she's done with us. She will always be our sister. We love her, but we have always made sure that she had the opportunity and the platform. We always encourage her to be Spinderella and be supportive of her. So um, that is um, yeah. in, very important. Perception is not reality. I hear that, and that is so great to clarify. And ladies, we love that you are here with us today. So 
Keep on doing what you've always done. You always keep it real and we love it.